YouTube, what's going on? My name is Dylan DSR Knowledge, and today we have a ridiculously epic unboxing video. Um, as you can see, don't copyright infringe me. You know, don't don't slay me to death for this Verizon. But I've got your bag on my counter because I'm a very lucky individual. For my birthday, my girlfriend got me the Samsung Galaxy S8. That's right, the brand new phone that just came out. We're going to do an unboxing video of that bad boy today. So in this bag, we've got the Samsung Galaxy S8. Get this out of the way. This is a case that came with it. Um, basically, when you buy the S8, through Verizon at least, we got the S8, she got the S8 Plus. We each got a case to come with it. The case that I got is INCIPIO, so I don't know how that's pronounced. NCPO or something like that? NCPO? I'm not sure how it's pronounced, but it is a dual layer protection one. It's really similar to the OtterBox one, so that's why I went with this case. So we're going to save the best for last and open the S8 next, but this is the case that's on it. Or that Sorry, that, that came with it, so it's got the insignia in the center there. Um, but yeah, it is a, a dual, dual layer one, so if we we take this and we kind of pop this bad boy out. This is the rubber portion of it. And then this is a very tough plastic, sturdy plastic portion. So that way it's kind of got the dual, like the rubber will take all the kind of shock and then any hard hit that this, this takes. It should be pretty darn solid in there. So we're going to leave this apart for now because I know it's easier to put them on when they're apart. So I'm going to set that off to the side. That is the phone case we got with it. I liked it because it reminds me of the outer box, like I said. And now let's get into the S8 unboxing. First thing that slides off. It's a really nice, really nice style case. Just says S8 Galaxy S8 on it. 64 gigabyte phone. Packing contents: Samsung Galaxy S8 pre-installed SIM card. Yada yada. We'll get what's into that in a little bit here. But um, as you can see, the box, pretty much nothing on it outside of the Samsung insignia and then a bunch of product information on the bottom. But there's actually a little flip out on the side here that opens up and holy gorgeous phone. What a nice box this is. It should be. It's an expensive phone. Um, let's pop this bad boy out of here. Now I already have the glass screen protector that it uh, comes with installed because they did that right at, the, at Verizon when I got it. So that is already installed on there. Um, before we pop that bad boy on, we're going to check out underneath this little plate. We've got another small booklet, which on this there's a little tool that comes with it. If I can get this thing out. But this is actually this little tool that comes with it on the back there. Plugs into the very top here. It's probably really tough to see on camera. But you push that down, and then on this very top piece, this slides out. And that's got my, my SIM card. and I also have an external 64 gig um, Samsung micro SD that I've got in there as well. So I've got all my extra storage that I had on my old phone on there too. So I end up with 128 gigs of storage on this. So this is what the back of the phone looks like. Ooh, that's super shiny. I'm glad I got the case because I know this is going to get smudged up. Um, so I'm really glad I got the case for that. I'll set that to the side there. Put this little tool right back in a slot on the back here, so I always have that if I need it. Inside here, I forget what was all on here. Got to meet your phone, a little thing from Verizon, kind of must explain how to charge the phone, stuff like that on there, additional information. Terms and conditions, stuff that we probably don't care too much about as long as it doesn't blow up in our face. Important consumer safety information. Obviously, I've read that diligently because I'm a good consumer citizen. All right, what else we got in here? What else we got? So, first thing inside this little box is the wall charger. Let's tear that bad boy open, take a peek at that. So, it's just a single USB slot wall charger on it, um, and it doesn't have like the, both the prongs are the same size, so, it shouldn't have any issues with any normal house wall charger for it or other wall chargers you got. They should be fairly similar to this and I'm pretty sure just about anything works. Um, all the old chargers as far as the, the wall portion that it plugs into will still work with the new USB-C cable. 
Um, but this one specifically does say on there that it's got adaptive fast charging. So if you use this charger, it should be faster than if you were to use an old style charger, the old wall piece. So it still works with the old wall piece, but you want to use the new ones because they're supposed to be faster. In that it has a couple little USB-C adapters. This first adapter that we're going to pop open here is basically a regular USB and then it adapts it into a USB-C. So, I mean, if for some reason, like if you needed to put stuff on your computer or something like that and you only had a regular USB cable and you wanted a, a USB to USB, then you would plug this in. So you could plug this in the bottom of your phone, get that going. The next one we have, which is super nice, is a micro USB to USB-C. So basically, this, and again, probably hard to see it, this is the older style, just one generation here for just what, the micro USB. So it would basically be kind of the little trapezoid type shape there. Um, so this would be kind of like what uh, my previous phone was, the Samsung Galaxy S5. That is what the S5 had. Um, I'm pretty sure that's all the way up until this phone um, for Samsung, I'm pretty sure they were all, I'm not sure about the Note 7 because I didn't do much research on that, but I'm pretty sure they were all regular micro USB. So they're doing the switch over to USB-C, which is really nice because when you take one of these plugins and you go to the bottom of the phone, you can plug it in either way. So it snaps in like that and it's locked in. I can take this and I can flip it upside down and snap it in like that. It plugs in fine. So I'm hoping that will alleviate a lot of the issues we used to see with the cables where you would get to the point where you'd have to wiggle it just right to have it to where it would actually charge after they would be used so often. Because um, that was a terrible issue that I always dealt with after a little while with every phone of that style USB. So hopefully that alleviates that problem and it makes it a heck of a lot easier to plug it in. Um, when you need to plug it in faster, if you can't quite see exactly what you're doing, it's really helpful to be able to just plug it in either side instead of having to fiddle with which side is up and which side is down. Uh, let's get back into this box. What else do we have here? This is the new USB-C cable. So it's a regular USB to a USB-C. Um, and this one is directly from Samsung, obviously. So this is the style cable that it comes with the new style USB-C, which is kind of neat. I should probably get a, a USB-C to USB-C because my laptop actually has that um, USB-C port on there. So I wonder if that would make transferring files between the laptop and the phone a lot faster too. I would think so. I would think this cable would do the same and like a USB 3.0 slot or something would help it out. Um, the other thing that this comes with, and I got to test it out because we were using my girlfriend's S8 and I got to test out her headphones, which are the same exact ones that come with the, the regular S8. And I'll do a review later on of the S8. The only difference as far as I've been told on the differences of the S8 Plus and the regular S8 is the screen size and then the uh, milliamp hours in the S8 is 3000. And then I think the milliamp hours in the S8 Plus is 3800. Um, not exactly sure. I'll tell you in the review on them. I might be able to do a review of both of them if I can snag her phone for a little while too. Um, but we know she won't probably give that up. But these AKG earbuds. So there's not a whole lot of stuff I can compare this to except for the fact that we had some, some Beats Pro earbuds um, that we bought. I think it was two or three years ago. We got them. I got them for my girlfriend as a Christmas present and used those and those were the best headphones I had ever or in earbuds that I had ever used and they were very good. Now these AKGs pretty much blew them out of the water. Now I haven't had Beats earbud headphones purchased since you know three years ago so I can't say that they're as good as what current Beats earbuds um, would be or not but these are phenomenal for in-ear speakers. I haven't been able to use them for, for long-term use or anything, but I used them for a few different types of music. I listen to rock music with them. It's very clean, very crystal clear for it. Then I listen to some hip-hop music, and the bass that comes out of these things is insane for earbuds. Like, you can get so much bass to come out of these without distorting anything in just earbuds, and I was super surprised about that. Um, with this cable, what I really like about it is it is, uh, most of the cable is actually a braided cable. So, I mean, I've always had issues with the the headset or headphone cables or really any kind of cables after you, you wiggle them around so much and they get, you know, twisted up and 
snagged and everything or you get them tied in a knot and they get like that they start to start to wear out and they'll crack and split open with this braided cable that shouldn't happen any braided cable that I've had has not the only time I've ever had an issue is when uh, we had an animal chew through one that was about the only thing so if you take good care of it and even if you do get it tied up in a knot and everything I haven't had it where it would you know start to fray or anything like that because of the braided cable um, so that's very nice I really like that up here it is rubber um, or maybe not rubber but it's it's not braided up at the top so that still might become an issue up here but again I won't know until I've had long-term use of them um, also came with different size earbuds in there so if you've got I think um, I think the ones that are on there now might be a little bit too small. I might have to upgrade them one size to the next level up um, earbuds for it. But I think that is everything in the package. So we're going to kind of cram some of this back in here and get this off to the side. I'm going <clears> to <throat> put my stuff back in this box first. Then I'm going to put my phone case, my phone protector on there and we'll get that going and then I will power this bad boy up and we will take a quick peek at some of the stuff now I have already used this phone a little bit on there and set some stuff up as you're seeing this video um, so there's gonna be a little bit I've already got kind of my own screen set up and everything on there so I'm gonna hold the side button on the right hand side it's powering up Samsung Galaxy S8 powered by Android stuff we all know all right, Verizon, and I'll go through more of the specifications on everything in a review video later on as far as the operating system. I know it's a Snapdragon, but I can't remember what um, what number that was. So the first thing that pops up is we have, um, and I think this is the what they call, actually this isn't it. Let's do this. Let's do this first. You hit that, the, the side button, which would normally be like your, your lock button on your older phones or like the sleep button. Then it turns on to this, and I'm sure you can turn this off, but it's what's called an always-on display. So what that does is basically you can just select a, a clock mode on it, or you can have an image around it too, but basically I just have it as the clock on there, and then you get a couple notifications. Then you would hit your button on the side, and then it gets to your, your lock screen, which just gives you another couple things, time, stuff like that. And now you would want to swipe to unlock it. And now you have two options. I have it set up with two options here. I can do the pin to start it on there. So I will just do my pin. And then hit OK. We'll go on there. And then um, everything is super clean when you first start it off um, you might have like uh, the google browser up there and then some other stuff to the right i think i was it was the google browser and then it was this the um, basically your weather and i had that right in there so i changed that so i have a super clean interface when it's just um, just the picture and then my five you know the apps i use most and then if i want to get to the rest of my apps i swipe up and then i have Two little pages and I've already grouped everything together that I wanted on there um, basically just named by you know internet stuff social stuff communication music vehicle cinema photos tools and so on and so forth so stuff like that just so everything's super it's not cluttered I don't have to search through pages upon pages of apps in order to get to where I want another thing they have is on this very side they have this swipe out tab called an apps edge where you can have more of your kind of your favorite your quick easy access apps and then they've also got a uh, people's edge so I've got contacts on there so if I need to call someone it's kind of like the new age speed dial to where if I need to call somebody it's all right there for me so that's that I'm gonna leave that kind of there I'm gonna do a more in-depth review hopefully later on this week and then let you guys know um, what I really think of the phone so far. My first impressions are amazing with it. I've had a great time um, getting to get to know the phone and everything like that. As far as service goes, service has been great so far with it. Um, so, and this is by no means a sponsored video or anything like that. I'm not trying to kiss butt for Verizon or anything. This is all just an honest review. It's a phone that, like I said, I got as a 
a birthday gift, so it's not something that I was paid to review or anything like that, but um, later on we'll do that. So this is a really cool thing here, and it'll probably be hard to show, but um, instead of entering my pin, I can do an iris scanner on it, and I'll try and, I'll try and do this um, where you can see it. Let's see if we can get that. So we swipe it open, and we'll go to the iris scanner. I'll just tilt it towards my eyes and it unlocks like that. Now, when I'm angled at it and it's sitting kind of up here like that, it is super quick when I try and do it. I'll try and do it one more time. Because I know some people, when they were saying they, they first got it, that it, it took too long for them. Basically, it was faster there for me to do it that way than it would be even if I were to try and type in my pin. So, um, that's really cool. I like that. And the only reason I set that up is because I set up the Samsung pin on it, which I'll kind of go into a uh, review on that as well when we do the phone review after I've been able to use it. So as always, thank you guys so much for watching the video. Um, can't wait to be able to do a review on this phone and maybe the S8 Plus as well. Um, like I said, there's only a couple differences on them. So I mean, it, it might not be worth it to go through and try and review both phones except give you kind of a, a depth gauge on the size. Um, oh, I totally forgot. We got some other stuff. This is all that came with it. It also came with a USB-C car charger. I totally forgot to mention that. So we got that in there. And Verizon was doing a deal that with these new phones, the S8 and the S8 Plus, or maybe it was just a smartphone in general, that we got a free tablet with that. So I'll do an unboxing because it's an extra, it's an extra unboxing video. Look at that. This one's already turned on. I can't believe the battery life is good in it. Um, Android recovery, so I just went into some kind of recovery mode. Just taking the box off, but let's try and pop this out. This is an ellipsis, so I don't know what that is. Let's try and turn this bad boy off for now, but maybe it's dead. I don't know. Anyway, this is an ellipsis tablet on there. I did a little fiddling around with it. It was pretty cool from what I, what I got to use and everything. Um, but yeah, it's a decent sized tablet, and for free, I mean, you can't really pass that up. So that was neat that we got a couple tablets out of it. Um, maybe something later on I might do a giveaway um, of either this tablet or other things. I plan on definitely doing giveaways in the future, so <clears throat> be sure to be subscribed to my channel. You know, go check out my Facebook. All the links will be below, uh, sorry, all the links will be below in the description. Of the video so that way if I do uh, a giveaway you can be sure to do whatever you need to get entered into that and you might be able to win one of these bad boys so it's definitely worth it as always thank you guys very much for watching the video and supporting the video I don't know where I would be without you guys it's definitely something I enjoy doing so I mean I'm, I'm gonna keep doing it I'm gonna keep grinding videos we're gonna do unboxings we're gonna do video games we got a lot of stuff starting to do the here in my car vlogs. If you haven't seen that, go check that out. Those are kind of neat. We should have another one of those coming out soon. Uh, but as always, you guys know it. Deuces.